In this Ellerton Associates Technology Training Tip of the Month, we'll be looking at using background pages in Visio. Okay, I have a Visio drawing up. It has four pages. Each of these has a different diagram. Go back to the first one. And the idea here is I would like some standardized information to display on all of these pages, plus any additional ones I might add in the future. We're talking about things like header information along the top, footer information along the bottom. But with a background page, I can even put stuff in the middle of the page or on the side. Now there is a simplistic header and footer tool. If I go to File and Print and Print Preview, in the print preview, you'll see there's a header and footer button. This header and footer allows me to type simple text headers and footers. They'll be positioned in the left, center, and right along the top or along the bottom. I can also choose from some codes representing fields, such as page name or page number. I can affect how far they are from the edge of the page, but I can't just put them anywhere. They're going to be along the top and the bottom and left, center, or right. And I can choose some minor font formatting, but I can't even use graphics here. So I'm just going to cancel this. And one other thing about this header and footer, if I add it, it applies to every single page. All four of them will have that header and footer. And it'll only display for printing. It won't display when I close Print Preview and look here. So the idea of the background page is it's much more flexible and you can be a lot fancier. The background page will display here. It'll be able to be seen right in Visio even if I'm not printing. I can have graphics. I can put things wherever I want. And then I can assign that background page to all of these foreground pages. Uh, technically a drawing page is a foreground page, but I can skip some if I don't want. And Though I won't do it for this video, you can even have multiple background pages if there's different headers and footers that are relevant for different types of diagrams in the same file. So I'm going to come up to Design, and on the Design tab, there is a Backgrounds button. And when I click it, right now I have no background, but I can insert one. Now, I'm going to go with this solid white background. You can add whatever you want on top of it. You may decide to try to start with one of these ones that have a, a gradient image or you've got the world image. You know, there's a couple here that have some fancy designs. I'm thinking for most cases, you're going to want to just start with the solid white one and, and then design it the way you want it to look. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, you might have noticed that the diagram I'm looking at, the diagram page, turned white because that background page just got assigned to this foreground page. That happens automatically to the page you were looking at when you created the background page. But here's the actual background page. I'm going to click it. So note that its name is vbackground-1. If I put in another, it'd be vbackground-2. I can right-click and rename, but I'm not going to. I don't feel the need to do that. And whatever I name it, or if I leave the default name, the name of background pages is always italic, so you can always tell that that's a background page. So I've got this blank canvas to put whatever I want on. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to Insert, and I'm going to add a text box. This is going to be for the title along the top. So first let me define the area for the text box. Now I can type whatever I want in here, but be careful because if I type something, it's going to appear at the top of every page as the title. For example, if I type my company name, Ellert & Associates, the top of every drawing page I assign this background to We'll say Alert and Associates. If I want to be a little more flexible, I can insert a field. Fields are good in all kinds of places in Visio, but especially on background pages for this type of thing. I want the top of each of these pages to reflect the name of the page. So on this one, it would be Project Approval Process. On this one, Project Management Diagram, etc. So while I'm in this text box, I'm going to come again up to Insert and click the Field button. Lots of fields you can play with. The one I'm talking about is Page Info and Name. And I'll click OK. Now note this one says V background 1 because that technically is the name of this page, but keep in mind that when I apply this background to the actual foreground pages, that's going to be correct. Let me just zoom out again to the full page. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do a little formatting, make it bold. Maybe I'll bring it up to about 18 points here. And you know what? That's good enough. Now just a couple more things. Let me grab a line on the home tab. I can just draw a simple line and use this as a border across the top. Visio makes it very easy to draw a nice straight line. I think I'm going to scoot it over on this side just a little bit more. And that's looking okay. And actually, yeah, it's, that's fine. I'll leave it like that. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to go back to the pointer tool and select that line and hit Control D, which is the duplication. Command, I'm going to put one at the bottom too, about right there. And then I'm going to insert, from Insert and Picture, my logo. And I'll choose this one. It's a little small. Let me make it a little bigger here. I'm going to pull in my gray line and sneak that logo down into the corner. There 
There we go. Maybe pull that line over just a little. So that's not bad looking. So now let's see what this actually looks like. Remember that this background page was assigned to this foreground page, so check it out. Hey, look at that. Now I already had the title on there. So now that I've got the title from the background page, I can click this actual title I had typed on there and delete. But notice how the title reflects the name of the page. That's what that field does. Now, by the way, if I want to format it different or change something, I try to click it here, I can't. I'm trying to click, I can't do it. I can click this shape because that's a part of this drawing. But the logo, I can't click. If I want to change anything, I have to do it from the background page. Before I do that, though, let's go to this next diagram, which does not have the background page. It wasn't assigned. So I'm going to right-click that page and choose Page Setup. By default, it brings up Page Properties. And there's Background. Set to None. But any background pages that exist are listed. There it is, and that's actually pretty nice looking too. I'm gonna to go to the next one over, do the same thing, right click, page setup. I'm gonna choose V background one, there we go. Now, again, the title, redundant, I'm gonna click that and delete it, but I also think I could move the whole drawing up a little bit now. Easy way to do that, I'm just gonna take my mouse and drag a box around the whole thing to marquee it, and then I'll just use my arrow keys to nudge it up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Now, you know, if you look at this one, Probably that particular background page would not work. So nice thing is I don't have to assign it. So I'm going to go back to V background one. Now let's say I decide later, you know, I want to change something about this. I think I'm going to make those two lines red to match my logo. So I'm going to click the line here on the background page. I'll go up to the line button and choose red. I'll do the same thing to this one. There we go. So the change is made to the background. What happens over here? Immediately the change is made. And here. And here. So that's the idea of background pages. I can see them here. They'll also print with fields in the title, for example. It automatically will update if I change these page names. It's automatically reflecting what they currently are. And I have one single place, the background page itself, to edit or manage the contents of the background. And I can assign it to as many foreground pages as I want. And as I mentioned, you're not limited to a single background page. I could repeat this process to put a second one in, maybe making one that's relevant for this, maybe just with the logo in the corner. I'm not going to do that, just pointing out that I could. And then if you have multiple background pages, when you assign them to a foreground page, you just choose the one you're going to use. So that's the idea of using background pages in Visio for standardized headers and footers or any standardized comment across multiple drawing pages. For more information about our classes, please visit us at www.ellertraining.com.